Hi, today we're going to be looking at chemical reactions and combustion. The problem statement we're looking at is a fuel oil is burned with 50% excess air and the combustion characteristics of the fuel are similar to C12H26. Determine the air fuel ratio, the molar analysis of the product of combustion and the dew point temperature of the products. We're now going to look at our stoichiometric equation. We're told we're burning a fuel, that's C12H26, plus some X amount of air, so O2 plus 3.76N2. This becomes some alpha amount of water, plus some beta amount of carbon dioxide, plus X times 3.76 nitrogen. We look at our reactant side and our product side. We know we're going to need 12 carbon atoms. So we can say beta is equal to 12. And we know that for our hydrogen balance, we have alpha is equal to 26 divided by 2. And this is equal to 13. We also know that from our products, oh, sorry, our reactants, x times 2 is going to be equal to alpha plus beta times 2. If we isolate for x, we get that x is equal to alpha plus beta times 2 divided by 2. And this is equal to 13 plus 12 times 2 divided by 2. This gives us 18.5. So our balanced stoichiometric equation is C12 H26 plus 18.5 O2 plus 3.76 N2 gives us 13 H2O plus 12 CO2 plus 69.56 N2. We're told that a reaction occurs with 50% excess air. So what that means is that we have 1.5 times 18.5, which was the number of moles of air we had, which is 27.75 moles of air. So we have our C12, H26, plus 27.5, O2, plus 3.76, N2, it's going to give us 13 H2O plus 12 CO2 plus some amount of excess air, which is 9.2 O2 plus 104.34 N2. So our air to fuel ratio here becomes 27.5. 75 times the molar mass of our air, so that's 2 times 16, plus 3.76 times 2 times 14, divided by the molar mass of our fuel, so that's 1 time 12 times 12, the molar mass of carbon times the number of carbon atoms, plus 26 times 1. This is equal to 22.41 kilograms of air per kilogram of fuel. We can solve for the dew point temperature of our products using the partial pressure of water in our uh, product. So the first thing we'll do is we'll find our mole fraction of water. We know that our mole fraction of a certain part of this equation is equal to the number of moles divided by the total number of moles. Our total number of moles is equal to 13 plus 12 plus 9.25 plus 104.34, which gives us a total of 138.59. We know that our mole fraction for H2O is going to be equal to 9.25 divided by 138.59, which gives us a mole fraction of 0 
We then assume that our ambient pressure is 101.3 kPa. So the partial pressure of H2O is equal to our atmospheric pressure times its mole fraction, mole fraction of H2O, which gives us 9.5 kPa. We then go to our saturated mixture tables, look at the saturated temperature at 9.5 kPa, and we get that the temperature for dew point is equal to the Tsat at 9.5 kPa, which is equal to 45 degrees C.